Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're going to talk a little bit about bagworms because it is time to check your trees and shrubs for these little worms. We get a lot of calls about bagworms later in the season, but actually it's the optimal time to check and control right now. Bagworm season is upon us in Kentucky, and depending on where you live, the hatching could have occurred anywhere from just in the last few days to a couple of weeks ago. So if you want to monitor, if you know you've had a problem or an issue with bagworms, you can monitor their emergence for next year because when they're small is the easiest time to control them. There's actually an emergence map made through the National Phenology Network, and you can find a link to that here. But as adults, bagworms are moths. But the most destructive stage is the caterpillar stage. And unlike other caterpillars that you find and you see out in the open feeding or maybe under the leaves, the bagworm wears this tactical stealth sleeping bag that one, helps to camouflage it, and two, helps to protect it. The caterpillar creates this bag from silk that it can produce itself from or from materials they find in their surroundings. That means that they can look different. They can have pine needles, cut off chunks of leaves, or even fruiting bodies attached to the bag. Some clients spot the bag and they're maybe confused and they think it might be pine cones or seed pods in their tree, not knowing that their plant has been invaded by bagworms. Bagworms are most commonly found in evergreen trees and shrubs, but they can also infest deciduous trees. Some of their favorite hosts are arborvitae, juniper, pine, red cedar, and locust trees. Their damage caused defoliation, but also bronzing of evergreens. So you wanna make sure to go out and check for those type of symptoms that you might have on your trees and shrubs. And while bagworm damage in one season usually isn't enough to kill a plant, successive years of infestation and damage can prove deadly. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about the life cycle. So the caterpillar will crawl to the tip of a leaf, release its silk strand, catches the wind, and it helps them move to a new place. And so that's how they're moved. But these bags can start very small. And then as they progress and feed more, they can become larger. So they're easy to miss if you don't pay attention in the spring. So you just want to make sure to scout right now because now is the best time to control them when they're small. As the summer progresses and as they feed more and consume more leaves around them, their bags actually get larger. And that's usually when we get the calls is when they find these larger bags on the trees. But usually at that point, they're much harder to control but the bags will reach about one and a half to two inches long and the caterpillar can be seen poking its head out of the bag and feeding and if you disturb it or try to pull it out or anything like that it will withdraw inside the bag and they're very difficult to get out by the end of the summer, the caterpillar will pupate and the males will emerge as moths. But real quick, I wanna talk about management. If only a few small trees and shrubs are infested, picking the bags off by hand and disposing of them may afford satisfactory control. However, even if you leave just a few, next season you might have even bigger problem. And when you pick them off, you wanna do that in the fall, the winter, or the early spring before the eggs have had a chance to hatch. But now we, if they have hatched, you find them, you might need to use an insecticide to prevent any type of serious damage. So the best time to apply the insecticide is when the larvae are still small, less than a half inch long. And in Kentucky, that's usually in June. Small larvae are more vulnerable to insecticides and it inflicts less damage. So carefully inspect your susceptible landscape plants, especially evergreens for last year's bags. Young bagworms are harder to see, so you have to look really close for that. Preventative treatment is also justified on plants that were heavily infested with bagworms the previous year. And here are some of the products that you might be able to use. A BT product is recommended at this stage because it'll take care of those small larvae. They're less toxic to mammals and to beneficial insects. So that's the product that we would like for you to use. If you find more later in the season. They're a little bit harder to control, but there are some products that you can utilize for that. If you have any questions about management or identification of bagworms, make sure to contact your local extension office and we'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.